Hello, in this video I will introduce Unigraph's USB-C analyzer, UCD340. We will explain how to run DisplayPort CRC video stability tests using UCD console user interface software. UCD340 is a compact sized USB-C DP alternate mode generator and analyzer. UCD340 can be used for testing USB-C transmitters like smartphones, tablets, and laptop PCs, and receivers like monitors, virtual reality headsets, or display adapter dongles. UCD340 supports video resolutions up to 4K at 60Hz. UCD340 has been approved by DCP LLC as a compliance test tool for HDCP receivers and transmitters. Using UCD340 and UCD console user interface software, you can test all USB-C interface functions. Before we get started, let's make sure that the UCD340 is correctly connected to your PC and device under test. Our test will use CRC checksum to verify correctness of the received video frames. CRC, cyclic redundancy check, is an error detecting code commonly used in digital networks and storage devices to detect accidental changes to raw data. Let us go to the UCD console dialog called roles and modes. In the status panel, we can see that the tested source device and UCD340 sync agreed and established a DP alternate mode connection, where all four high-speed lanes are dedicated for DisplayPort use. We will first run the test using this configuration. After that, we will go to link tab that shows us the DisplayPort alt mode status. The array of green LEDs indicate us that the link training in all four lanes has been successful. The error count registers show us that there are no link character errors. And in stream status, we can verify that used video mode is as expected. CRC tests that we will use can be found in UCD console's source DUT testing tab. We will be using test one, it compares the captured frames to a predefined reference frame. The test first makes sure that the received video mode is as expected, and then captures frames and compares their CRC to a reference CRC. We will still have to configure the test by setting the test parameters. The important parameters this time are test length and expected video mode. Let us define that we will compare 200 frames, which corresponds to about 3 seconds of video signal. This time we do not allow any failures. That means that all CRCs need to match. Secondly, we will set the expected video and color mode. And finally, we will capture one frame and calculate its CRC to be used as the reference. Now we can return to the test dialog. Let us enlarge the test log panel first. After that, we can select test one and start the test. The test will run the steps without user intervention. When the pop-up dialog appears, we will know that the test is ready. We can verify that the test result is pass. The first test was done using four lane mode. Let us now change the configuration to two plus two lane mode where DisplayPort uses two lanes and USB high-speed data in the other two lanes. In DP alt mode capabilities dialog, we will now indicate that UCD340 also supports two-lane configuration. We will also set multifunction preferred bit in UCD340's configuration data register. If the tested source also supports the two plus two lane configuration, the parties should now select 2 plus 2 lane configuration when reconnected. We saw that the parties are renegotiating and finally entered to the requested 2 plus 2 lane configuration. Back in Link tab, we can now see that DisplayPort is now using only two lanes. We can also see that video mode did not change as expected. 
The lane configuration has now been changed and we can rerun the test. Let us generate a HTML test report. The advantage of the HTML test report is that we can open it within any web browser. We can see that the two tests are listed as separate reports. Let us select one of them and evaluate the test execution. We can see that in stage one, the input was detected and in stage two, the test verified that video mode was okay. In stage 3 and stage 4, TEST was capturing the requested 200 frames, calculated their CRC, and verified them to the reference CRC. No mismatches were found, so the test was passed. The other test also passed. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You can find more videos and other material from Unigraph's website, unigraph.fi. If you have any questions about the test, UCD340 test equipment, or other Unigraph products, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thanks again.